not Wormwood. I don't know how to tell which wall he's coming out of. It's going to be hard to see because it's the search in darkness. Like, I have nearly have time to avoid this. Ugh. There was a pony. So, we're back alive. And we got some decent stuff to start. I didn't speak for the first couple rooms because I was kind of annoyed. This is my third time trying to start as Lazarus, and I've died to crap in the mines or the downpour. I've died twice to Wormwood, and now once to Hornfell. The LDR, the new bosses are hard. Who would have thought? It's just so hard to not get hit by Hornfell because the second the bombs leave Hornfell's hands. Ow, my neck. They're already like three-fifths of the way exploded. I'm hoping that there's something of worth in my super secret room. Because we got a I can see forever pill at the start of this run. Which is nice. And PhD. Yeah, that's a good pill. Nerf. At least ensures that we get something decent out of our pills. Full health is always good, but you know what we can do? We can cheat. We can take our hematemesis pill. We can grab our... There. We can grab our stuff and then just grab our full health pill and then just move on with our lives. Blight it over. Not a difficult boss. Although, if you put your bomb in the wrong spot, you might have just wasted it. Blight it over is actually, in my opinion, easier than the other versions of this boss, which is Gemini. Because this boss... What is this? Constellation Prize, plus to lowest stat. Which I think was my tears rate. Okay, there's our unlock for that. Three minutes on the first floor. Not too terrible. Let's go to the downpour. The advantage of downpour and the other alternate floors is it gives you options for your extra items. Assuming you don't die to the bosses. Which are notably harder. Like, I could use some damage right now. What was I supposed to do there? To, lose, to, to not lose my Devil Deal chance. What was I supposed to do there? I can't move sideways, and of all the directions that thing could shoot, it shot the one direction that I couldn't do anything about. We're going to hit our poops here. The effort that we could... Yeah, I just noticed that Lazarus has negative health. Negative luck to start with. Uh, let's see, more curse rooms, bogo bombs. Bogo bombs is nice. Let's just cement ourselves into having the access to the mines. There's got to be ghosts in this room. There is not ghosts in this room. But there is a very obnoxious... Oh, screw it. I said screw it. Because, holy heck... That setup was just too annoying to deal with. What allows me to do instead is apparently open our secret room with the super troll bomb, come in here, grab my bogo bombs. Which is, does that drop us extra bombs or no? No, it doesn't. So, bogo bombs is good. Now we get double bomb drops. Like that which guarantees us our access to the mines and also gives us the opportunity to do some extra damage to our boss, which if it's Wormwood will be very useful. It's Haunt. Okay, now I just gotta not get hit by the Haunt himself.
you got the shot speed, make use of it. You can hit him at the top of the room. You just gotta pay attention to what attack he does. Like that. Stay in the middle of the room for the most part. And we're good. We did not get a double kill. How sad. I forgot what Super Sloth can drop. Super Sins can all drop things, but... Bob's Curse, I am fine with. That gives us extra bombs. Into my secret rooms. Chocolate milk or a rotten cookie? Play-Doh cookie. Multicolored tears. Kind of starting to think maybe I should have taken chocolate milk. All right, let's go down to the next floor. All right, down port two. I don't believe I have any spirit hearts. And I don't really know what Play-Doh Tears does, but I'm regretting not taking chocolate milk. It's like Curse of the New Items. Definitely going to be ghosts. Swallowed Penny. And Leech. You want to give me another free item? Luck up. Okay, our luck isn't zero anymore. Steam sale is very nice. But if I can't get Steam sale... Which I don't think I can, because I need at least two bombs... Ooh, okay, we did. Steam sale, then. And now any coins we get for the shop become a lot better. I don't like using my bomb, but I also can't stand that room setup. Hopefully we get another bomb throughout the floor somewhere. Oh, shit. Well, there goes my double deal chance again. Not... Yes, I am trying to get items and coins and whatever I can out of these little guys. Alright, you've thrown all the buckets at me. You can die now. You have a lot of health. Okay. Gee, I wish I could get over there. Didn't know how much health I had. Didn't want to risk it. <sighs> Experimental treatment or Aquarius. Okay, we gained... Dam we gained shot speed. Damage. Range. We lost tears. And we lost luck. Overall, actually a really good uh, shuffle. The Spirit Heart is tempting, but Humbling Bundle. But with Humbling Bundle, I can do this. And get another Spirit Heart. And now Swallowed Penny will drop us a two coins every time. Beelzebub, I can deal with you. Can't so much deal with... Um, what is it? And Leech is doing a number on you. Can't really deal with Wormwood so much. There we go. And still no Devil Deal. But we get to go to the mines and die on the mines. Baby 2.0 is a interesting pickup for my current scenario because there are times when I can benefit from hitting more than one time. 
at which point Robo Baby would be very useful. There are other times, though, where he doesn't do anything at all when I think he should. It gives us options. Options are a good thing. Okay, we should have one and a half spirit hearts now, I think. Oh, God, this room is nasty. Just gonna focus on dodging and let Robo Baby do his job. That's an instance where Robo Baby is very helpful. I can't tell exactly what's gonna happen, so Robo Baby. And. Okay, we should have two back to two spirit hearts, I think. Chemical peel or boom. Damage or bombs. We're gonna take chemical peel. Because it also kind of makes us look like a freaking Terminator. Which is cool. Chemical peel, I think, though, only affects every other shot. Feared or not, you still shot at me. Bombs. No, I don't want Are You a Wizard. I want my swallowed penny, though. Great. Great! Yeah, it does bomb damage, so we should only have one spirit heart now. Judas's tongue makes double deals cost one less. Hmm. No idea what we killed, but I'm looking out for spirit rocks. I'm so cheesing with Robo Baby. <laughs> He's just doing his thing. That was probably faster. Tough twins, and we have to not get hit by them. I think it's actually advisable we keep them over there and out of our way for a bit. Just start chipping away at him. Okay, we, that tough twin should die now. Once we kill his middle segment, which is no longer a boil. Oh wow, that actually didn't kill him. Your Robo Baby doing a number over there. Pentagram. Damage is good. Spirit of the Night. Flight is great, but the last time I tried picking up that item, I lost all of my health, and I don't really know why. Hematemesis. Okay. Flatworm. That makes our shots wider. Oh, I got rid of my Swallowed Penny when I meant to go back and get it. Oh well. We almost have 30 coins and we do still have the steam sale. But Flatworm is actually a good choice in my mind because it makes our shots wider, which makes them more likely to hit. I had no idea how to avoid that. I really didn't. I was sitting there going, what am I going to do to not get destroyed? This is another one of those rooms, and I'm like, how do I not take damage? Here's our real shop. And it's green! How nice. You bitch! Man, I'm turning into one hell of a salty Sam today. But then again, this is my third time trying to get through here. Hey, small rock, that's good. We've got ourselves some nice damage so far, but we have to not get hit for the rest of the floor to maintain our angel deal chance. Ah! 
And there it goes. I mean, I might not die, but it's, it's really hard to not take damage in these rooms. Got that squeaking in the audio track. It's just bothering me. Uh, black bean, toot on touch, fat protector, block, extra shots. Man, if we find a key beggar, we would be set. It's our second knife piece. If we don't get any spirit hearts, though, we aren't going to be able to go to Mausoleum anyway. Come the fuck on! Mask of Infamy or Options? Oh, sh well, I thought that was options, not Book of Secrets. Book of Secrets is... Man, that was a very bad choice. And it's Hornfell again! I hate you! Freaking fashion. Hold it on, hold it on! Thank God most, most enemies don't have a chance to retaliate. That's a fake Hornfell, but... I was hoping Hornbell himself would show up and get hit by them. Ring bombs. Alright, yeah, I saw that at the last moment. Not like I have any actual double chance to risk losing on this particular version of the floor, but. Sad bomb! No, Hornbell. Wow, I'm bad. I ran into him. I don't think I can kill him before he gets away. I could, and I'm gonna get blown up anyway. Screw you. We have no spirit hearts, we cannot make it to the mausoleum, and I doubt I can make it make it to there otherwise. I'm still gonna try, but I don't think I can. Maybe we can now, actually. Ah, oh, they have to be full spirit hearts? Are you kidding me? I tried everything, guys. So, we are, um, we're gonna have to go for the lamb on this run, I think. I'm really sad that we couldn't keep going. But at the same time, maybe I shouldn't be upset that I couldn't do it. Because... Maybe I couldn't even get, I probably couldn't even get through the mausoleum and not die on this particular run. Extra spirit hearts are nice. Liberty Cap is giving us a random mushroom effect when we go into rooms. It's kind of funny, the second I pass up the mausoleum, I get all sorts of extra spirit hearts and whatnot. Ow! I've got plenty of keys so I can open this. And we get another golden key. And a bunch of money. So that's always good. Now, I don't mean to be like, you know, oh, this is a shit run. But it's not the run we were hoping it would be. That was some bad damage. I've got unlimited keys, so... No reason to not open those. Okay. We're just gonna leave that there for now, because we still have to check out our shop. Our shop contains the item that I thought the Book of Secrets was. The fanny pack.
and people will probably be like, why are you bombing your donation machine? Well, the reason I'm doing that is I don't really need bombs, save to get into the main room, and by bombing it, I... I get more money so I can donate back to it. Ice scooper. It's an active item that makes us spawn a peeper. I have all the keys in the world. Gee, I wish I could use those. But I can't. At least I've got little leech right there just doing his job. Costumus, which is the husk. I have no use for all this stuff. That was regular mapping effect, which is nice, but I already kind of knew most of the floor. Ouch. I have no use for all this money. My donation machine's jammed. I'm apparently just really, really salty. I'm sandbagging the crap out of this run when it doesn't need to be sandbagged, because it's not that bad. We have okay health, we have good damage. I'm being such a salty Sam for no good reason. Alright, well, the only thing we have left to do is scan for tinted rocks if they exist, rush ourselves right back to our secret room, double deal. We have not killed the lamb as this character, so that's the direction we go. And we get Dark Bum, Missing Page 2, and Fear Shot. The problem is, those are all Red Heart deals, and I don't have Red Hearts. And the last time I took a Red Heart deal, when I only had Spirit Hearts, I died. Because I don't remember how double deals work in Rebirth. As opposed to Afterbirth. We get the Angel Room with the Holy Grail and the Bowl of Tears. Bowl of Tears is Monstro's Lung version of Isaac's Tears. Holy Grail is... Well, it's Flight. You, you take a guess what I'm going to take when given the option of Flight. Mm. Boy, I was hoping I'd run into you. Done with you. I need those keys for later. Goat hook is run speed. How much? 0 0.05. Meh. Already fast enough. There we go. Simple as pie, they say. We got a lot of coins. I hope I run into a coin beggar. Like, a uh, regular beggar. Because you do have a tendency to run into him in the womb for some reason. Why you run into someone begging inside of somebody's womb, I don't know. I gotta admit, though, that's setting a bar real low before you're born. Eternal heart, an eternal spirit heart. 
which is great because that is basically the the it's basically holy mantle as a heart. We've already done all our mapping, so there's no reason to use the Book of Secrets right now. You're not the Teratoma I'm used to. But you are just bomb Teratoma, I guess. I mean, bomb Fistula. But we do get this. Callus, I can fly. I don't need it. Speaking of Teratoma. Better known as Fistula, but with fire. I only got hit once, so I should still have my... My eternal heart of sorts. Extra keys. And down we go. Okay. We're good. <laughs> Talk about getting shat on, literally. Okay, we are looking solid, actually. Pop Book of Secrets for our mapping purposes. I'd like to keep my heart. Thank you. Myosotis. I don't know what that does. Mom's coin purse. Well, we do have PhD. God, I forgot you take that much. So do you, Jesus, you know, screw you. God, you're like one creepy looking monstro. A monstro version of these guys. I don't think I needed to do that. Nope. Five is actually very good to have. Okay, so I figured out what this item does just by looking. It causes all items left on the floor to spawn at the beginning of a new floor, at the entrance of that floor. So it's kind of nice. It lets you just drag anything on the floor with you. Lighter is, I think, better. Maybe. It allows us to take things with us. <laughs> Apparently, he's... <laughs> whatever was spawning items on me is just like, you know what? Screw this guy. You're done. We aren't going to fight the boss yet. You know why? This floor has treated us pretty good. So we're gonna try something. No! We are gonna fight the boss. I think. Now hear me out. Because we have the fool. Because we have the fool. We can fight the boss. And then go back to the start, then hit our five dive room, which will let us reset the floor and potentially gain access to another devil deal, which might help boost our strength overall. So we can fight, it lives. our poison bombs and anytime big protector gets in front of us 
we can make good use of it to allow us to get close to it lives. Like right there. Because poison bombs are a good thing. Uh, we got Teratoma. Teratoma is okay because most of the shots from it lives will massacre Teratoma. That was very stupid of me. And there goes our Eternal Heart. The one thing I really wanted. I have to take damage here. Because there were still shots floating in the room. We get an Angel Deal. Which gives us an item I don't know. Act of Contrition. Tears up, all is forgiven. So we got another tear up. And can I do this? We can fight the angel. You should fire on horizontal axes because you are a blue angel. Yep. There goes the angel. We get ourselves a key piece. We then activate the fool. We then go and we hit our die five room and we reset the floor. Okay, so. Are you a wizard? No, thank you. But it did bring all the items with me to the next floor. It did not bring trinkets. Which is good to know. No tinted rocks so far. Store credit. I think this will give us a free devil item if we end up getting a devil deal. And our other trinket isn't really helping us that much, so we might as well just take it with us. That's a good pickup. Five extra damage per shot. <laughs> Instant payout with the Butterbean. We did not get napping for our secret room which means we'd be playing guessing games as to where they are. Which I don't mind doing. <laughs> that face. <laughs> that face was freaking awesome. Oh. I've got plenty of bombs. Nope. I don't have two guppy items. So I would not gain the guppy transformation, which means that I don't want that. Now we can fight it lives again. Isaac! We're doing some solid damage. Because I was hit. I don't see how I'm supposed to avoid damage at that particular portion. We get another angel room, which gives us our second key piece. So we now have our full key. We took the negative, which means we go down to Shoal. <laughs> this has been a really long run. Nice to know that the enemies from Mausoleum are actually Shoal enemies. That's actually very good to know, and also very nasty. Kind of like that. Neither is the gate. God, look at that damage per shot. That's just good. That's just awesome damage. You landed on my head, you dick. That was not the boss room. Not really worth it. Whew. Yeah, the music in Shoal is ridiculous now. Yeah, these are freaking mausoleum enemies. God, the music in here is like really intense. Mr. Mega, which is always okay. Oh, these are Brim Hook. Brimstone? Yep. I think they keep firing even after the room is cleared. Yeah, they do. Well, 
that was actually very... Oh, that's a bomb. That was actually very lucky for us because we picked up the compass of all things. We picked up the compass. So now we know where the boss is. Now we fight Satan. Half a second too late. Fallen should die pretty quick. Forgot how powerful Mr. Mega was. There goes that part of Satan. <laughs> you bitch! There we go. We didn't even lose our special. Whoop! Down we go. To the dark room! Mmm. Ouch. Broken Ankh has appeared in the basement. And we get two spirit hearts off the bat. And oh, that's a long way back. Whatever. Oh. Now we get to go fight the lamb! Right away. I think he should be falling apart right about now. Yep. Well, there was no really avoiding that. God, I forgot how tanky you were. I am very much not being smart about this. I don't remember you ever being so tanky. I could go fight Mega Satan, but I'd rather just get my unlock and be done with it. Because I haven't beaten the lamb yet as this guy, so now we have. Oh god, that was that was a long run. Pandora's box is what we unlocked for doing that. Let's check out our post-it. Lazarus, we have done everything except boss rush on him now. All right. Well, that was a very, very long run. That was almost two hours. I should have been in bed an hour ago. So anyway, that has been The Binding of Isaac Anti-Birth. As I said before at the beginning of the video, if you would like to see more Anti-Birth, Afterbirth, Afterbirth Plus, just Isaac content in general, please leave me a like to let me know that you would like to see it in addition to Dark Souls and anything else I might come up with. That being said, I hope you did actually enjoy the video. If you'd like to, feel free to leave a comment. I always read them. Sometimes I reply to. If you want to see more from this series, more from this channel, and help it grow, consider subscribing and share the video with your family and friends. It helps me knowing that people help spread the fun. That bullshit out of the way. I've been the Void Talon here in the Abyss, and I will see you in the Abyss next time. Stay sharp, my friends.